Do you know what we're doing? No, I don't know. Uh, we're here to, to visit the Lyle, uh, John Lyle Center at uh, Cal Poly Pomona. So here they study uh, solar, wind, um, farming, alternative uh, building materials. It's an education for our students who are currently in the middle of designing their solar passive house and they're here to learn from some experts that have been working in the field for the last uh, 15 years. Cool. Awesome. Um, my name is Debbie, Debbie Scheider, and I've been here at the Lyle Center for about 13 years now. Um, I will be one of your tour guides. Um, we have two others back here, Anne and Joseph. John Lyle, he was a faculty member in landscape architecture. He worked in conjunction with a variety of faculty and a variety of di disciplines to begin to look at the idea of how could we live in a sustainable, sustainable way. Look at that idea that the resources, the opportunities that we enjoy and have right now, if we want those to be available for, say, our great-grandchildren, we look at the idea of... also understood a lot of the different architectural principles that are involved in sustainable communities and things like that. I think, um, this particular house is probably my favorite house. Or the what we're in. Well, right now we're in the house, it's made out of um, paper, recycled paper and also wood that they have in Mexico. Like the story guy said, um, most of it is just recycled, things that you can find in Mexico. For example, the tires, um, they stop the, wa the water from flowing out. Also, um, the, the paper acts as insulation, so if it falls on you during an earthquake, it would be uh, light to you, it wouldn't hurt you, like a concrete would. I thought it was off a car. In total, it just costs like five thousand dollars because uh, since it's just it's recycled things. These are things that you can find in Mexico, then it's not expensive to make, and it's also better because it seems like something like because there are more windows than a normal house usually would have in TJ, so that gives it a nice nice feature. Yeah, and it's also good because like people that in TJ that don't have a lot of money and like living with worse conditions, it's just what better for them. Yeah, it's, the the thing that I like the most is the paper because like. The guy said um, we have a lot of that in our, and uh, we throw that away, so it's just better. It's better. We can recycle it. That's cool. And then taking the water from the fish tank to feed your plants, and then the plants uh, take all the the waste from that the fish are using to use the nutrients filter the water back for the fish and it's kind of like this closed loop system. A lot of people are trying to incorporate that in city environments so that way you can have the fish. Well, you know, that's what this house or this wall is constructed out of. If you guys want to get a post, touch it, why not? What's the uh, exterior? Uh, just stucco, regular stucco. So what, what is hydroponics? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Hydro. Okay. Okay. Hi, growing something hydroponically is without soil. So the plant stays suspended in just water. And the water that is being, that the plants are suspended in is the water from the fish tanks. I'm going to go ahead and open this up in a minute so you guys can see. But if you'd like, uh, it's a tilapia. Oh. Tilapia fish. And they're growing different types of leafy green vegetables, um, lettuce different types of lettuces. Um, any questions? The original 
idea was that these ponds were going to be used to filter water. This is where that, that first you know, initial flow of water would have been put and then it would have made its way down all the different ponds until it made its way to the end. Um, another concept that Lyle originally wanted in the design was to incorporate aquaponics into the pond. So as I had mentioned, you know, percent organic which means that we don't use any pesticides herbicides or chemical fertilizers so all the fertilizers that we get is organically based so you know to kind of keep that um, uh, recycling spirit we have a local tree trimming company that delivers uh, wood chips to us uh, regularly and normally what happens is that these tree trimming companies have to go to the dump and pay a fee to unload their waste and again just waste that could otherwise be used and instead of having to pay that fee they can come up and dump for free and then we be uh, built out of straw bale as far as like the inside insulation um, it has steel framing and you know a modern roof as well but the actual walls are constructed out of straw sure and over you know, you guys have already have seen two models. Uh, this model is the Lyle Center as it was originally designed. And it was supposed to house 90 faculty, staff, and students all living, working, and studying in one place. You know, the, the water was going to be filtered as, as it made its way to the ponds. Passive solar design, this would have been south, that would have been north. Incorporating agriculture on top of rooftops. Uh, passive solar water heating, a uh, little black box on top of the buildings. Um, and after everything was said and done, the other model is the Lyle Center as it exists today. And we tried to incorporate a lot of the same principles, passive solar design, as I've also, uh, you guys already have seen, um, the different agricultural methods, the ponds. Passive solar water heater. And why? Well, because that it heats the water during the day by the sunlight, and then as, it, as the black material absorbs the sunlight, it heats the whole water. I like the hydroponics because the how it like how they use the, the, the like they give a place for the fish to live, and then the, how the fish live, what they produce made the plants able to grow, and they made like fish. I like how they would put the natural landscape into the building, build the building into like the hillside. Mm -hmm. and and why is that good? Because I'll use less construction. Okay. I'll let the natural be. Awesome, thank you. I learned that one of the houses are made of concrete, uh, of paper concrete, and I thought that was pretty cool because it's saving like, other materials and the material they use is cheaper and it's also uh, better. Wow. Awesome, thank you.